Welcome back to my battle against gravity as I fall to my death, as it's now time to complete my quests obtained from Gandalf's court queen cousin. End of this bollocks. So I first convinced this random man to go and get his tooth pulled out. Yeah, so in between this and the last bit, uh, my computer shit the bed, so... It's great. And once the tooth is successfully pulled, I ask the blacksmith if I can keep it. Want to keep it as a memento? I love it. Oh, all right. Next up, it's time to gamble. As with all vices, it's great to get your foot in the door, or at least get a paw in your hand, as that's what I actually get for my victory. But now to correctly do what killed me last time shoot an arrow at a tree that's stapled to the side of a church. With everything I need now gathered, I go and check on the crown, which isn't finished. Okay, right, come here to me and I need just. So I continue on and give everything to Radagast the High who gives me one more task, to rob some clothes off of a dead body. And with that done, it's time to get some food because I was actually starving to death. Okay, there's a bakery here somewhere, I'll find it. I'll find I won't starve to death. I'm telling you now. Henry of Scallops will eat food. Good morning. Give me meat. Properly fed, Ganjadolf brings me to his house. But the locals soon arrive and try to kill the rambunctious rambler. He tells me to handle it and then jumps out of his window. Thankfully I managed to convince them to leave. Me too, and then I loot his house. I then go back and pick up the crown and it's on my way to Ratai to get some wine. Out of the way, peasants. Except I can't as the merchant Maybe gave away his last keg so. as a prize to and an archery competition. Like? Ah. She's a crippling alcoholic. Ah. So I go and sign up and compete off. to get the wine. Which doesn't go particularly well as I get absolutely hammered. But luckily Henry's grown a golden Just tongue and I convinced the winner to hand it over. Lady Stephanie, you say? I've always liked her ladyship. So then I head off to Talonburg getting ambushed along the way. And when we finally make it, I hand Lord everything Lord. over. You sang to a whore. But then this married woman His gets a little bit too father's. comfortable with Henry. He was as she decides to dress him. As she wants Your me to put on her father's chest. shirt. Strip. What? Why not? Why not? I'm ready. And now it's time to buy a new horse, so I ride off to Neuha. A wonderful Arab stallion. New horse acquired, it's time to get back to doing the main quest. So I hop on my new steed and go flying through the forest. Forward, in search of the bandits. And soon find Probitzlovitz where the bandits have based themselves. And after killing two humans, I steal their clothes and head on inside. Hey, don't mind me, just uh... It would take a while to get across. Sure, average cumin. But I soon get stopped and questioned by a random cumin. But I soon get out of this as Henry the Czech yokel somehow pulls Hungarian out of his arse and becomes bilingual. I don't know where I suddenly learned Hungarian there, but fuck it. I then decide to wait till night and continue my mission in the cover of darkness. And when I head back in, I soon find the baldish man in black armor who stole my sword, having an argument between some cumans and his own men. Which ends with him gutting one of his own men. Then it's time to pick some locks, ignoring cumans, grabbing poison, getting caught, and running through the woods and fighting off said cumans. Then I poison their food, run around like an imbecile. Oh. This has gone poorly again. Poison some more food. Kill more cumans. And light their arrows on fire. With my sabotage complete, it's time to go and I mount up and ride back to Radzig. Except I don't because I get ambushed along the way. I then forget about Radzig as my inventory is now full and head off to Ratai where I can sell the useless horde of shit I've obtained, as well as repair all of my shit. And then it's time to head off again, except there's another fucking ambush. After the fuckers get folded, I finally get to report to Radzig and tell him exactly what I found and what I did. After which he orders me to go to Sir Divish and ask for reinforcements. So I immediately head off and obtain said help, meaning it's now time for our first big battle. We'll win this day. We charge across the bridge and the battle begins, with us cutting our way through both bandits and humans alike. The battle goes well and we soon break into the church itself. 
where we see the bald man retreat back inside, causing Henry to chase in after him. The two talk passive aggressively to each other and then it's time for a duel. Which, to be honest, doesn't last very long, but neither does he as Henry turns his face into mashed potatoes. And with all this complete, the battle is finally done. But unbeknownst to us, the war has only just begun. I will make you pay for this. After our victory, I wake up the next morning in my brand new room, and then immediately go and join a tournament. Which the first few rounds of actually go quite well for me. Yippee. But then things stop going well and I get my shit kicked in. I ignore this defeat and head off into another cutscene. We learn that right after our victory, the bandits committed more attacks, including attacking Merhayed. Thankfully they failed in this attack and one of the bandits were captured. We then get some more bad news piled on top as the money recovered from Privislavitz turned out to be fake. I don't give a fuck what you call it. I want to know what that fucking was. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Meaning our new job is now to head to Merhoyed, interrogate a captured bandit, and find out more about these counterfeits. So I set off, but as soon as I arrive in Merhoyed, I run into another problem, as almost the entire village has gotten sick, including the captive who they won't let me see. So now I have to solve that problem as well. So I wander around for a bit, examine the sick, and bury a dead body. And once all that's done, it's back on the horse and off towards the monastery. Where I speak to Johanka. And then Nicodemus. Sees you, sir. How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? They agree to help. So I read a book to find out what the affliction actually is. Or at least I sort of do, as I just guess and assume it's water poisoning. Poisoning from tainted water. Nicodemus then gives me the recipe for the cure and I set to work making it. Then I mount back up and head off back to Merhoyed and tell the villagers that their water was poisoned. And Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. Good lord, that's difficult to believe. I then speak to Nicodemus and we set to work distributing the cure amongst the sick. I'm then allowed to see the prisoner. You let me see the prisoner. I will let you, I will. Of course I will. Now open up that shed. Where the fuck's the place with the guy? I'm looking for it, I ain't seen shit. Ah, here we are. Once I find him, I give him the cure and head off to no, go hunt some to bandits. I go west, away yeah. into the woods. That's northwest. I go west. After successfully wasting some time, I head back and begin questioning the captive. Thankfully he's very cooperative and tells me everything he knows. That their leader is called the Chief, and he is of noble blood. He then gives me a letter, and a new lead, a random merchant called Menhart. Menhart gave him to me. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna. I then beat up a bereaved peasant. Step back from that heathen, young fella! and take the captive back to the Ratai jailhouse. Next I head off and read in the dark for two hours, reporting to Radzig the following morning. After a long conversation, Radzig sends me to hunt down this Menhart. Or at least he does after he showers me with praise. I soon find Melikar's massacred caravan, and then I head off in the wrong direction. The dog is getting hit because it just runs in between my legs in the middle of fights. Then arrow on my shoulder. Killing the humans, I then head the right way and speak to some charcoal burners. Enough bullshit. Four yards. Wagon. I don't care. The gang that burned down. Possibly. What happened? Didn't ambush anyone. Here. Thanks. Speaking to the injured man, he tells me about the knight who attacked them. Sadly, I don't know where he is. Actually, no way I do. He's right outside. He makes a run first, and I mount up to chase after him. Move forward. Which doesn't go very well, as I get stuck in a tree. 
Come on, don't be the horse is absolutely fucked. Come on, you stupid bastard. Jump, tough fuck. Jump, I'm hitting the button to jump, you stupid fucking horse. I, sh I wanted to catch the mystery knight, I'm sorry, but I'm stuck in a fucking tree because this horse can't jump for shit. After blaming everything except myself, I head off to Sasau, getting ambushed by the knight along the way. After a rough start, I start slapping the shit out of him. Where's my. Take out the fucking sword, what are you doing? Or the mace, take out my ma- Why is- Have I unequipped my mace or some shit? What the fuck is happening? Why is it unequipped? I was using it a couple of fucking minutes ago. No, I have enough, old man. Um, yeah. We then get to talking and realize we're both actually on the same side. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? And that was all just a bit of poor miscommunication. I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? He offers his help and gives me more information, including a written confession. I do not understand such technical matters. Tell me what you know about the false coin. He then tells me why he's here and hits off. Some months ago, counterfeit Russian were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plating with silver. He left his... He left his sword. And his... And his shield. 